this is continuation to the force blower that I have been building and in previous previous section I, I showed you how to test this power controller for for the vacuum cleaner motor and this is the motor that I showed you earlier and that is just a soft piece that makes it running smooth so what I have done now is a housing for the blower and the reason why I started building this is that I learned during previous winter that this motor makes a lot of noise and actually it blows too, too much too much air is coming out and too much noise so I wanted to have an adjustable speed for that reason I needed to build a robust housing and this is made made with this piece of steel and this is the basic housing and a frame for the entire assembly okay so here is how it works this part is the incoming air I left, left this piece quite long so that it allows me to make a silencer later on if I feel that I need to but this is incoming air okay and it attaches to the back of the housing and here is the incoming air filter I believe the vacuum cleaner motor and the blower will last longer if we clean up the air before putting it into the motor and then the blower centrifugal blower and there is a holder for this piece like that these balls are attached to these two screws here then in the middle section we have a plate that allows different kind of blower motors to be installed so this gives me flexibility instead of welding this in to this piece of pipe I'm just uh, I put some some starts or some ears over there inside and then by attaching this allows me to use this specific vacuum cleaner motor and then it's quite easy if I later on want to change it to a different motor to just to modify and make a different adapter for that so from this end incoming air end the motor is supported by this plate and from the other end the motor is supported with this fixture it's just slide in this way and attach inside to the holders here so here you can see how this adapter plate is installed there are three gears here three studs that receive this plate like that and then I can put this softener like that and then I can put in the motor. Okay. So at the end we will have the housing for the speed controller and safety switch. And the speed controller controller comes from the inside here. Thank you.
That's your forged air blower. Okay, this is the first test run for our new blower, which is running here. And we are just starting up the forge. And as, I, as we um, adjust the air flow, we, we now are, we are just now testing how it works. The air is coming in here. Here you can see the fire. This is just charcoal for now of rickets. But this, I really like this how it's adjustable. And we, we do get some air flow if we want.